so high. Okay, so the piece of paper that you're going to see me use uh, to cover my art journal, for those of you who ask how my wife and I work, I'm on my desk. You guys are normally looking straight down here so you can see my outline shining on my hand. Um, there she is on her own table. Okay, so the piece of paper I'm about to work on, um, it was a giant piece of mixed media paper and I didn't film it. Well, I did a long time ago and then deleted it because I thought I wasn't going to use it. But so this is essentially how it started. It was just a little bit of paint. Um, and obviously, as you can see, it's got glimmer on it, but I believe it was just regular acrylic paint. And uh, what I did was I took an embossing folder and this is a Doris embossing folder. Hold and I'll go get it one moment. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I went and got it. Actually, it looks like it might be a cuddle bug. So um, it was just a chicken wire. So what I did was after it was painted and uh, dry, I set this behind the paper and then lightly sanded the paper down with my uh, Tim Holtz sanding block. There, that's better. So that way it uh, just picked up those raised areas. It didn't work as well as I'd like it to. It might be because this is such an intricate design. It might work with a more sturdy design. Um, so that's why you can kind of see the chicken wire design there, but and kind of not. So I knew I was going to save this and it ended up being almost the perfect size for my journal. So um, that's what I'm going to start working on. And then I also missed a little bit of like scraping paint, but it was uh, just a little bit of the, uh, the jacquard somethings. I was prepared. Lumiere. The Lumiere. The uh, Halo Blue Gold This. That. With um, a little bit of the Liquitex Basics. I think it just fell down. Maybe not. Uh, bright Aqua Green. That. So um, I mixed those together just because I wanted a lighter color. And welcome to where we're at now. So we're going to head back down. Look. Back then. We're going to head back down and uh, get this cover made. Here we go, y'all. Okay, so there's that paper. Sorry, you see that uh, bright teal green, aqua green, whatever it's called. Uh, that's what I, I just scraped it on with the palette knife and then uh, watered it down and did a couple little splatters. Nothing big. Uh, so you didn't miss much other than, you know, the whole paper being made, which, again, I'm sorry. That paper has been made for, I don't know, seven, eight months. But when I started this journal, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, my God, it's the perfect size. So, um, yeah, used it. So I'm using Stazon Opaque White. This is the cotton white, and um, I wanted something permanent. I didn't know if I was going to be spraying more stuff over the top. I didn't know what I was doing, so... Um, I'm using the uh, pot holder that I got from Walmart, and if you turn it one way, it looks kind of like chicken wire because chicken wire um, is built like vertical, whereas if you use it the other way, then it just looks like honeycomb or uh, hexagon. So then I took the whole piece of paper. This is essentially my cover. Um, it's just a piece of mixed media paper, and I took it over to my sewing machine and I sewed about. Uh, maybe half an inch, maybe quarter an inch, it was like about half an inch, away from the edge on all four sides uh, with black thread. And I uh, just wanted a little like finishing design element. This is a piece of leftover paper when I cut down that, that big piece of paper I'm using for the cover. Uh, this is a little piece that was left, and I'm just scraping uh, white acrylic paint on it. I wanted to, I had pink, in, or I had purple and teal, so I was like, hey, let's go with pink. This ends up going away, so don't freak out if you're like, no, don't do it. So yeah, this, this ends up going away, so it's all good. I actually did two layers of the pink, and then, uh, but I cut one out, because like I said, it goes away. Uh, this is kind of fun. I might do this again. Uh, there, Some water got on the back of this paper, and it started warping it, and I was like, oh, well, let's put some more water on the back of the paper, because the paper on the back was raw. So um, it warped the paper, which I thought, oh, cool, that would give it some good texture. Um, I don't know that you notice it much in the end, but um, maybe... Maybe in the future, if you had something that would like stiffen it, keep it that way, like stiffen stuff, it would be good. So I sewed a little piece of ripped uh, tissue paper, that Tim Holtz t tissue paper, to it. And um, I wasn't in love with it. I just, I, at this point, I didn't realize that I hated the pink. It just wasn't working. 
So I was like, oh, well, let's just try tearing this a little bit more. That's that's the issue, is is the the tissue paper. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. So then I tore the um, pink a little bit, which I actually i am glad I did. I like the raw edge. And so yeah, we're going to tear this a little bit more. As you can see, I just stitched it down with my sewing machine. I've been sewing machine happy lately, like just going crazy. It keeps bunching up though underneath my my uh, whatever I'm sewing. The bottom keeps bunching up. I think I need to rethread it. I'll do it eventually. It was fine this day. Just anything after that, I I haven't had luck with it. So, uh, so yeah, just some black sewed along the edges. And by the by the way, I'm pretty much self-taught on sewing my ant and this is washi tape. It was two pieces of teal and then a piece of like purple right in the middle. I keep debating whether or not I'm going to use it. My aunt and my grandmother kind of showed me some of the basics, like how to thread it. But for the most part, I had to go on YouTube and figure out what in the world I was doing, what everything did. and um, Yeah, so I bought myself a sewing machine, and the first thing I did was sew curtains, and they're still hanging in my room. Um, so I used a little bit of Fabri-Tac and uh, some hot glue to glue this strip of pink ugliness down and I use that scripty stamp that you can still see in the frame that stamp is awesome I got it for two dollars at um, Viva Las Vegas stamps they have a whole table full of consignment stamps so people sell their stamps back you can buy them for two bucks um, a friend of mine went and got a stamp the size of probably a dinner plate if not larger like maybe a charger like under a dinner plate. And there goes the phone. Um, for two bucks. So they, they don't care if it's name brand, you know, they'll, they'll have hero arts. They, if it's been used, then they can't sell it as new. So it's two bucks. So as you can tell, I was like, okay, I'm over this tissue tape or t tissue. Okay. My wife would answer that if I could find it. Um, I was over the tissue paper, so I ripped it off. And um, I started looking at it, and I'm like, something's missing. Something's not right. And it was that pink. That pink was just way too much for this page. So um, I took a button, and this had been spray painted black and uh, with some silver glitter on it. And Okay, not entirely sure where I was, but um, I had to stop because someone called, and then Jen took over the computer, and it's so rude. So, I am sewing a button on. As you can see, I have not attached this paper to my journal yet, so um, just sewing the button on just with some black thread. Self-taught sewer as well. I always have to sew everything in my house. And sometimes I don't. And I just let it sit. So uh, for I'm using one of uh, Jen's hair bands for, um, for the closure. And uh, so what I did was I put some Fabri-Tac down onto my paper to help glue it into place. And then I'm actually sewing it into place as well. Uh, so that way it's nice and sturdy. I know that the between the fabric tack and the um, the thread, it'll it'll keep it in place. Because so I figured with just the thread, it might tear the paper, but with the glue, it'll help give some strength to the paper. So fingers crossed, it'll uh, it'll survive. So then I'm adding. This is um, score tape. And uh, score tape is just a brand that um, it's just double-sided, super sticky tape. Think ATG on steroids. I know that they market it as a whole bunch of different names. Uh, the the tape itself is called Su Quang. I'm gonna adjust my mic. Sorry. Uh, it's called Su Quang, and it's S O O K W A N G, and it's uh, it's a Korean tape, and it comes in all different kinds of sizes. And it is so, so sticky. I love it. So uh, I just went all around the edges and then did Fabri-Tac right in the middle. And I did not adhere the spine, so that way the spine would uh, be flexible to open up. And then I'm just trimming off some of the excess because it ended up being a little bit bigger than my, my uh, initial measurements. 
So as you can see, I'm doing the same thing now on the front. Score tape around the three sides. And then eventually Fabri-Tac in the center. There you go. And I leave a little bit of the liner toward the uh, uh, spine because, like I said, I, I don't want the spine to, to be adhered. And then trimming off the excess again. And I think this is where I was like, uh, this pink is just so not working. I showed it to Jen, and she's like, I... I said, it's the pink, right? She said, yeah, it's the pink. I said, okay, it's, it's not just me. So I just took black acrylic paint. Um, initially, I have some quinacridone magenta on there, too. Initially, I was going to add the quinacridone and um, just make it a darker pink. Because, uh, you know, I love pink. Pink, purple, and teal. Those are, like, my colors. But just just with this paint, it just wasn't cohesive, the pink. It, it stood out too much. I, I just, I didn't like it. I could have lived with it and left it the way it was, but it just didn't make me happy like that, so... Very carefully trying to paint the pink since everything's all glued down and I'm trying not to get it on the washi tape and yeah. No, I didn't use my angle brush for this. I really should have used my angle brush for this. That would have been a lot easier, but oh well. So again, just painting, painting, painting. I think I ended up doing two coats of black paint, but um, only two coats like toward the edge because I knew I was going to end up covering up the center part. I'll show you what I mean in just a second because I didn't get a very crisp line uh, where the washi tape and the pink met. So I was like, oh, we'll have to find a way to, to fudge that, and I did. So by the way, my phone keeps going off because yeah, today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. So and you're getting two videos this weekend out of me. Two. Not one, two. So that's my birthday present to me for you. So yeah. And I still have uh, one, two at least two pages that are done in my new journal and one that's a work in progress. So you shall have more soon. I've seen a couple of your questions from uh, from my last page with the letters on it, and it was green. And uh, Martina asked, uh, does that mean that there will be more creating? She's getting ready to move, so she won't have access to her, uh, her crafty room. And I said, absolutely. I didn't say that um, because I'm responding now. She'll see this. So, But yes, you will be getting more videos from me because I'm out of school. So... Um, this was that Su Quang tape again, the score tape, and I just ran it up and down um, the sides and added some fine black glitter. And so now it's kind of glittery. And uh, I used a piece of paper just to smush the glitter into the glue. That that tape is so, so sticky. And I got brave and used my handwriting again. I'm I'm starting to like my handwriting. It's better when I weight it. When I weight some of the letters and make them heavier in some areas. and So I'm, I'm starting to like it. This is my Montana uh, paint marker and it's a fine tip. It, I need to get the refill paint for it because it's almost out. So what I usually end up doing is just squeezing a little puddle out on, on the side and uh, dipping into that. So I, I treat it almost like a, a dip pen. So again, just adding some more weight. And this journal cover is just about done. I didn't do much much else with the cover. I, I really liked the background, how it looked. wanted to keep it simple. I tend to overdo things. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. But um, I tend to overdo things. So I was like, let's, let's keep this simple. 
So I did go back and, uh, like I said, weighted some of the letters a little bit. If you hear what sounds like someone taking a ride on a minecart, a la Indiana Jones, it's Jennifer trimming pictures with her paper trimmer. I keep watching, there's a little sound bar, and every time she does it, I see the volume go up when I'm not talking. I'm like, oh, for Pete's sake. So I'm sure you can hear that, but there you go. So, let's see, told you. You have to share the room, I've been told. I don't have to do anything. I could lock you out. Okay, so create, and then I just took my Micron pen, and I put buy, and then signed my name on it. Um, again, I've been big into signing my name, so there's my little signature. That's not not so little, really. Um, but, yeah, there it is. Another completed journal. So, hope you guys like it. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. So, um, yeah, starting a new journal. Hooray! So that'll be the next next video is a new journal. Talk to you later. Bye.